speculation about who bought the FTC-2000G sophisticated light trainer attack aircraft made in China is likely to fall on Cambodia, the Khmer Times reported. This week, Global Times, an English-language daily newspaper in China, reported that the FTC-2000G aircraft was produced by Guzhou Aircraft Industry Corp. GAIC, selling the aircraft to an unnamed Southeast Asian country. The report did not explain the price or the number of units sold. The media only mentioned that the agreement was signed in January this year and the delivery will begin in early 2021 and finish within two years. Some well-known military news sites such as Defense World and Global Flight refer to Cambodia and Myanmar as potential buyers. The two Southeast Asian countries are known to be very close to China militarily and politically. Myanmar already operates several types of Chinese aircraft, including the Nanchang Q-5 ground attack aircraft and the Shenyang J-7 ambush. Cambodia has a Harbin Z-9 helicopter fleet and has just bought millions of Chinese military equipment for US $40. According to Prime Minister Hun Senator but the recent acquisition in order of the Myanmar Air Force MAF ignores the possibility that Myanmar is a buyer. Myanmar is reportedly negotiating with South Korea to buy a Kai T-50 training jet fleet. A few months ago, the MAF commissioned six Russian Yak-130 advanced training aircraft. In addition to the Chinese JL-8 K-8 Hongdu trainer, the FTC-2000G, Yak-130, T-50 and JL-8, K-8 are all in the same aircraft category. Also, under the leadership of State Advisor Aung San Suu Kyi, Myanmar has worked to align itself with the West with concerns for China. Other countries in the region including the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam and Singapore are involved in border-boundary talks with the Asian giant, making it impossible for them to become buyers of Chinese weapons at this time. This makes Cambodia most likely a buyer of Chinese aircraft. There is additional information that strengthens speculation, which is seen from some Cambodian Air Force pilots who are in China for training have posted videos and photos of their flying on an aircraft such as a JL-8, K-8 aircraft. One of the other training jets made in China which have similarities to the control system, capabilities and performance. Cambodia has also been fishing to buy a fleet of light attack aircraft to improve its military capabilities in dealing with external security. In the past, Cambodia had a fleet of L-39 light trainer, attack aircraft and MiG-21 ambush aircraft but most of them were already in an airworthy condition. Some of them were seen lining up at Pachen Tong Air Base in Phnom Penh. In October last year, the Prime Minister said that Cambodia would buy four more L-39s from the Czech Republic. Defense experts say that it is illogical for Cambodia to choose China as a supplier of aircraft. China's military hardware, it is noted, is far cheaper than comparable Western-made equipment. The possibility of weapons made in China can be bought cheaply or with Chinese loans, which makes it more attractive to new economic buyers, including Cambodia. Unlike the United States or other Western countries, China also sells weapons overseas without ties. An upgraded version of Guzhou JL-9 FTC-2000G twin-seat advanced training jet for the first time flying in September 2018. This aircraft can be used for light attack duty or for pilot training. With seven hard points under the wing and body, the aircraft can carry bombs, machine gun pods, rockets, and short to medium range air to air missiles such as SD 10. The FTC 2000G aircraft has a maximum speed of Mach 1.2 and is equipped with modern radar, fire control systems, and navigation equipment. China calls it one of the cheapest on the market.
The FTC-2000G is a lightweight, single-engine fighter trainer made by Guzhou Aircraft Industry Corporation GAIC, from China. This aircraft was developed from JJ-7 or MiG-21U Mongols. The FTC-2000G is a direct competitor of the L-15 for the Next Generation Advanced Trainer Aircraft Program competition for the Chinese Air Force. The body of the FTC-2000G is a body of JJ-7 whose nose is changed and the air inlet is moved. This plane has a pair of wings consisting of two parts. The inside of this wing is more shade than the outside, and two stabilizing wings are mounted under the part behind the fuselage. Two pilots sit in tandem with a pilot position in the higher back to give a better view. The canopy opens to the right from the cockpit. The fuel filler pipe in the air can also be attached to the front of the cockpit. The Doppler Griffo S7 wave control radar made in Italy is paired for export variants. For domestic needs mounted radar made in China, 1153 BMI LSTD database, XPS2 head-up display, HUD, MFD, multi-purpose screen. The FTC-2000G has five hooks, one under the body and four under the wing. These can carry weapons up to 2,000 kg such as short-range air-to-air missiles, rocket launchers and bombs. The permanent weapon is a 23mm cannon. The FTC-2000G is powered by a WP-13FC turbojet engine. The internal fuel tank has a capacity of 2,660 liters. And the aircraft is capable of carrying three 480-liter tanks or two 480-liter tanks and a 720-liter tank drop tank under its wings. The FTC-2000 started as a GAIEC private venture to develop an inexpensive trainer for fourth-generation aircraft. The trainer was revealed at the 2001 China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition. The aircraft are reported to be produced at a GAIC assembly line in Anshan, Guzhou. The FTC-2000 as the JL-9 competed with the Hongdu JL-10 to meet the advanced trainer requirements of the PLOF and PLANAF. The JL-10 is more technologically advanced but also more expensive than the JL-9. In 2013, both had entered production. A carrier landing trainer variant was revealed by Chinese state media in 2011. Designated the JL-9G, it has strengthened undercarriage enlarged wing and diverterless supersonic inlets but has proved to be unsuitable for arrested landings and is limited to land-based operations. On 5 September 2018, Chinese state-run Xinhua News Agency reported that GAIC had begun mass production of the FTC-2000G variant. On 28 September it was reported that the first mass-produced FTC-2000G performed its maiden flight. In April 2020, China reported that an unnamed Southeast Asian country had placed an order for the FTC-2000G, with deliveries expected between 2021 and 2023.